Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarns and Fins. I am Kay and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet the Salasha top. All materials needed including the links to where I bought them are on the description box below. If you prefer a written pattern for this design, my pattern shop links can be found below this video. You can also turn this into a dress and without further ado, let's start. We will work with the cups first and to begin, make a slip knot and chain 3. Then, 3 double crochet on your first chain. This is for all sizes. This will be our first row. For second row, chain 2, flip your work, double crochet on the first stitch. Next stitch, work 3 double crochet. Then on the last stitch, work a double crochet. For row 3, chain 2, flip your work, double crochet on your first and second stitch. Then on the third stitch or the center stitch, work 3 double crochet. Then double crochet on the last two stitch. For row 4, chain 2, flip your work. Then double crochet on the first three stitch. Then on the 4th stitch or the center stitch, work 3 double crochet. Then double crochet in each of the last stitches. For row 5 onwards, repeat pattern on row 4 which is double crochet in each stitches except on the center stitch which is an increase of 3 double crochet. Always begin with the chain 2 and then flip. Continue adding more rows until it looks like this and stop when it stretches from your bust point to your collarbone. After that, add more rows without increase. Begin with chain 2, flip your work and then double crochet in each stitch across. Repeat until the whole cup stretches from your collarbone to your under bust. After that, the cup should look like this. After that, we will now work with the cup edging. And to do that, turn on this side. And then work two single crochets in each side of the rows around. After that, secure and cut your yarn and then make two of this cup.
Now for the flare, make a chain that can wrap around your full bust circumference and it must be multiples of 4 plus 2. After that, make sure that the chains are not twisted and slip stitch on the very first chain and we will now begin with our round 1. For round 1, chain 2, that does not count as double crochet, and then work a double crochet in each, each chain around. Then finish the round with a slip stitch on your first stitch. For round 2, begin with chain 2 and then work an alternate of 2 front post double crochet and 2 back post double crochet for the whole round. Then finish the round with a slip stitch on your first stitch. Now for round 3, begin with chain 2, then on every front post double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Then on every back post double crochet, work a back post double crochet for the whole round. Then finish the round with a slip stitch on your first stitch. For round 4, begin with chain 3, that count as first double crochet, then work another double crochet on the same stitch. Then chain 1 and work another 2 double crochet 
still on the same stitch. That will be our first shell. Then next, skip one stitch and then on the next, work a shell stitch to work a shell stitch, 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet on the same stitch. Repeat that for the whole round. Then I'll meet you at the end. So here at the end of round 4, we will just slip stitch on your first and second stitch and on the chain. Then to begin round 5, chain 3, that will be our first double crochet. Then on the same chain 1 space, work double crochet, chain 1 and another 2 double crochet. That will be our first shell. Then after that, on every chain 1 space for the whole round, work a shell stitch. Then finish the round with the same pattern of slip stitch from previous round. After that, repeat the pattern on row 5 for 4 more rounds and then cut your yarn and secure. Then we'll proceed with the joining of the cup and the flare. To attach them all together, lay down the pieces like this facing the right side or the outside of the top. Then attach with a single crochet stitch from right side going to the second cup. Make sure that the parts where we begin and finish the rounds will be your center or in between the cups. To attach, insert your hook from both loop from the flare and from the cup and then work your single crochets.
After that, it should look like this and then continuing to this part or the back part, we will work 3 double crochets in each stitch across. After that, it should look like this and then continuing to the front part or the part where we attach with a single crochet, we will also work with 3 double crochet in each stitch across. After working with one round of three double crochets in each stitch, you slip stitch on your first double crochet and then turn your work and continue with three double crochet in each stitch here in the cup and then I'll meet you when you reach the peak of the cup. Here at the peak of the cup, we will work our strap and to work our strap, make a chain that is at least 50 centimeters long and then slip stitch each chain all the way back and continue with the 3 double crochets in each stitch from the cup. After that, I'll meet you again once you reach this part of the cup. Once you're here, stop on the 11th stitch and then chain 3 and slip stitch on the 10th stitch. Then chain 7 and slip stitch on the 10th stitch of the other cup. Then begin with a chain 3 and continue with the 3 double crochet in each stitch around the cup. Do the same for the strap pattern from the first cup. Thank you. 
After you're done with the second cup, slip stitch from the base, secure your yarn, and then cut. For the string, work a chain that can wrap around your under bust plus 50 cm and then make sure that the chain can slip through the holes of your 10 mm pearls or beads and then leave at least 15 cm loose ends if you want to add pearls at the end of your string. You may also use floral wire to insert beads if your needle or hook doesn't fit in the bead hole. To add the beads and the string, insert them in between the front post double crochets on round 2, beginning at the center in front and adding the beads after every 2 front post double crochets. Continue inserting around till both ends are at the center front. And just like that, we are again done with our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like button and notification bell. And of course, subscribe if you want more free tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.